UFO community, and that's irresponsible because you're leading people who are feeding off your words, and you shouldn't do that. No, you I am totally not to irresponsible. I'm trying to do this very responsibly okay. because I know what's at stake if people are led into the path of panic and polarity and duality. But we're not this doing that. And well, you're absolutely, the opposite direction. Direction. So you don't worry about a darn thing. No, no, and that's I'm not saying don't worry. I'm saying take. Okay. Why take, not just invite let me tell you, awareness? Can I, can I answer any of this? Do it. Go on. <laughs> It's a two I think one you're one. answering it. I think you've been answering it, but go ahead. The, 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 and, no, because you haven't heard my answer yet. Go my on. answer is what I consistently yeah. say, is that there's no evidence that they are hostile and that we have to be in a armed position, in a Star Wars SDI position, and that dealing with it in that way is the last thing that we should be doing. I agree with okay. that. Okay, and so, so and so whether or not you cannot, you can't, let me, let me finish. Wait a minute. I cannot say that there is, uh, you can't prove a negative. I've said this three or four times. I can go with the evidence I've seen. Moreover, I can go with the experience of 19 years of thousands of people in Sea SETI expeditions and the experiences we've had with these visitors, none of which has been fearsome negative, invasive, none of the sort. The other, the other point that I have to make is that if it were true that there were civilizations that had self-interest and were going around the cosmos colonizing and invading different worlds or planetoids or what have you, then I would say that those are the civilizations we need to find a way to engage. And it isn't going to be down the barrel of a laser weapon or an electromagnetic pulse weapon. True. And so... I do, think you're ju making so, a jump. I mean, I have to say so here, let me, you're I making a jump my answer yet. To, so, to Star Wars from us just saying there may be ETs with, with, with self-interest guiding their param their, their Well, but, but let's take a step back from humanity for a moment. Um, and look at this through the eyes. Let's say there is a civilization like you're describing. I mean, it just you know. So what civilization are we describing? The ones that you think are, are not in service to others. We think they may have themselves. agendas that are not necessarily in our interest. That's not a polarized position. Right. Okay. And so, let's, but let's say that's the case. And it let's doesn't mean we want to shoot them in the head either. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's but let's say that's true. I don't think it is true. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, uh, it's possible. I mean, I don't pretend to know everything, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. But let's say that's true. What might have instigated that? Um, now, let's go back a hundred years. We we're in horse and buggies and rifles and things. And my grandmother, born in the late 1800s, post-Reconstruction South, saw her son design the lunar module, put the first man on the moon and now her grandson doing what I'm doing. And we've gone from uh, horse and buggies to the capacity for interstellar travel uh, and anti-grav and dematerialization and trans-dimensional technologies uh, from gunpowder and the early stages of the Industrial Revolution. At the same time, we've gone from rifles and machine guns to thermonuclear weapons. And is it a coincidence that the sort of Pandora's box that opened when we started detonating thermonuclear weapons was because it was having an effect beyond just the Earth transdimensionally? And is it possible that the trajectory they saw our civilization going on, these ones that may, you think, may not have our best interests in heart, may have seen us going on a trajectory that if it continued on that trajectory, would lead to us going into their neighborhood with weapons of mass destruction, with our unchecked simian tendency towards war making and what have you. And so I'm trying to say, let's look at this for just a moment through another perspective that's non-human, if we can. It's very difficult because we are human. Look, I, I, I met I think, with Robert Salas. Yeah, he that, watched the, the, the craft fly over, okay, um, in Montana, the, the missile silos, and turn them off. He, you know, he's, I've talked with him in his house about these, these, these experiences, as you have right. in your disclosure project. And, you know, we're, we're totally on the same page on that. There's no doubt whatsoever that they came and they are absolutely adamant that right. this technology not go, first of all, not happen on the Earth, but, but, but second of all, not go beyond, and that it actually 
it's actually interdimensional in its destruction. Correct. Destructive. Uh, yes, I'm abilities. very aware of this. Yep. And and so you know. So what kind of I think we're in agreement we on that. In other words, and, and and therefore, what kind of provisions and things are going on as a consequence of that? And so I always say, you know, everyone starts getting into you know this alien agenda and that alien agenda, and I would say, what would be more constructive is that the human agenda be fixed, yep. that we learn to live on this planet and no fix, 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 uh, fix our own home, create a peaceful civilization, rather than worrying about other motives from other civilizations. And here's what I predict. I predict that if we were to do that and learn to live together without clubbing each other over the head and killing <laughs> each other on this planet, and it's yes. so below, so above, that we would see a change perhaps in the cosmic order for that reason. Mm -hmm. So rather than engaging in uh, debates and speculation about the agenda of perhaps harmful uh, aliens and this and that, I would say, why don't we create a civilization of abundance and of peace and of enlightenment here and go into space with that intent and see what the response to the cosmos will be then. Well, it may be the response that we're getting now is a directly proportional response, karmically and otherwise, to what Absolutely. we have been doing to each we other. We are attracting. You know, in the last hundred years, years, we have killed 160 million of our own fellow humans. And I think that if you reflect on that, and I, and I was seeing an interview with Robert McNamara towards the end of his life where he was reflecting on the terrible mistakes he made in Vietnam and, and the other wars of the 20th century. And what I think is that there, there needs to be uh, a sort of let's look at ourselves. And, and, the, and I think that many but times... let's not way, do that to the exclusion. Well, All, it's not an either-or question. In other words, what I hear you saying is let's be a little more um, sort of earth-centered in our view of reality and not worry about the agendas of those other beings out there and let's concentrate on building our nest and making it a good healthy place and playing nice with each other and no it's not either no, i'm saying let's no do that that's why we're doing the, the orion we have project absolutely no disagreement with that's that that's why we're also doing the contact diplomatic effort and we invite all of these we always invite all but, these civilizations but actually to you're assuming that there is no intervention going on and i think this is this is getting to the root of the question in other words do you know about screen memories because you must know about them if 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 you've been as deep as you have well yeah the psychotronic programs that have been in existence all right for many years because you obviously those. have a positive view of all your interactions and you know not to get personal on this level but to say that if i if i meet a being who thinks they've only had positive interactions with certain you know, ETs or animals or whoever they are, then I might look at that person and I might question, this is my issue, I might question whether or not that person is really knows what they're having because they might be screen memoried and they might actually be having some negative interaction in there and not know it. Now, obviously, so you're I'm back not, to the positive and the negative and the polarity. But we live in a 3D <laughs> level, and we are and, moving and see, this to is the, the 4D. Whole point, is that I, it's what not I, actually. It goes beyond that. So don't interrupt me because I want to finish. I don't here. think it's that simple. Um, it, absolutely, and we agree on that. It is very complex. Right. We are multidimensional beings. We live on lots of different levels. We are spiritual beings first, mm -hmm. and humans second. Okay. We actually are just inhabiting these human bodies right. at the moment, in my, in, in my view. Okay? Short term, at least. And I have had a number of samadhi experiences myself, so I totally know where you're coming from with that, and, and, and I appreciate that. But uh, that doesn't change the fact that it is extremely complex, this picture of what's going on here. None of us have all the answers. And to make definitive statements that we feel you are making out there, okay? And to actually limit, to put blinders on to such an effect to say, there is nothing to be worried about at all humans out there. Just worry about your own little playground. And meanwhile, out there are, because I gotta tell you, if you're aware of psychic and you have psychic perception, you know there are 
There are entities that do not have bodies that are negatively oriented. Now, negative again becomes a judgment. And how do you want to call negative? Those aren't I, could call, I could say. Now I could you're confusing say, the whole cosmological. I'm not confused. On the contrary, okay. I'm using an example. And I never deny that there were those kind of entities. Okay, fine, but I'm saying if you. But want, those aren't extraterrestrial. I'm using. I know that, and, but I, I'm, I'm extrapolating. Let's extrapolate. Let's yeah. extrapolate yeah. from there. I'm simply focusing right now on what you might term a negative entity that it doesn't have a body and I'm saying or you could even say fire now fire is is an entity it's 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 a um, you know a non uh, it, it doesn't have a body and yet it is a, it has a power it has a, a it can create itself so in a sense you could say it's negatively oriented if it burns your house but on the other other hand it could keep you warm so by the same token we could find entities that are in physical bodies again spirits having a physical experience which could be an ET it could be us it's so multi-dimensional don't you see what I'm saying in other oh, words absolutely. if they yeah. are spirits as we are spirits sure. then they can be moved by the positive polarity as they could be pulled by the negative polarity and it could look from the dimension of being in this 3D world that we're inhabiting called Earth, in this human body, in this experience, and how they impact us could in fact be ultimately negative to our growth cycle. And that, in, as, that is in fact something that has been positive as a very real possibility. Now, well, you know, anything is possible. I mean, obviously, I just don't see the evidence for that. I do see the evidence for humans killing each other. I do see uh, weapons in space where we have targeted these visitors. I appreciate and that. And all of that. So, I mean, we can yeah, talk in yeah. circles all day on this. Sure. My position is, is that uh, there has not been uh, an action against the Earth and humanity from an extraterrestrial, interstellar, physical civilization to here that I think uh, would cause us to want to have a, a, a sort of armed conflict response. Now, are there experiences people have had that they interpret as negative? Absolutely. And I, I mean, I, I, I'm going to tell you something, and people don't like to hear this, but in a major trauma case, if a child comes in, and there's no time for anesthesia, and I have to put a chest tube in the chest wall of that child, I must look like the most horrible monster and devil that ever lived. My motive is to save that child. My motive is to help that child. That's but right. to anyone seeing it who would just walk in from another planet or off the street, they go, what is that monstrous yeah. doctor? What is, or what are they doing? What to, doing and what life. my motive is, is that I've got five minutes or less mm -hmm to save that child's yeah. life. And no. so all I'm saying is that the, the sort of it's a matter anthropocentric, of perspective. and it is a matter of perspective, and I think that's why I prefer to be cautious, cautiously optimistic, um, put out a, a, a positive view on how we should be interacting with this thing. It is not irresponsible. I am not insidious. And I think that these sort of characterizations are, are highly offensive, as I have never uh, attacked you folks publicly. I found I was attacked on your blog today. It was unfortunate. But my, my perspective, your I want to be very no, clear. No, your philosophy was attacked. You were not attacked. Yeah, well, whatever. Actually, you were complimented. Uh, but I, I just have to say that that is why we're, we're wanting to be cautious, because it is so easy for humans. I mean, look what happened after 9-11. I mean, it is so easy for humans to take shreds of information and then go on a war footing or go on a conflict footing. We agree with and, and this is, a, I, I this is the inherent danger. This so is the inherent danger of yeah, some okay. of the things that you're yeah. saying. Yeah, I, I, is that I it can, sh it can yeah. shove humanity. Yeah. Okay, and there's yeah. one thing that, you know, to have a private conversation about speculating about the motives and the agendas of the aliens. But when you start talking to the people yeah. of the planet mm -hmm. about this and you start putting out the, and positing that there are these and to use your word and the polarity negative and this and that this this would throw the planet into and it would also throw the planet completely into the camp yeah. of majestic 
who for years has been trying to and has also taken presidents aside like Reagan and